today's video, I'm going to be ranking the top five best maps inside of Roblox Tower Heroes and also the five worst maps in my opinion. Let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Now, before we get going very far into this video, I would like to point out that when I say best maps inside of this game and worst maps, I'm not talking about the amount of coins or experience you get from them. I'm basically talking about everything else except those. Along with that, we're also not going to be judging any of the special maps over here so if the uh, map was added due to a collab or maybe it was because of Christmas or Halloween we're not gonna be doing those so that being said we're just gonna be judging every one of these maps and when I say judging I, I judge in love so please please don't think I'm like hating on any of these maps because I'm really trying not to so with that being said let's go ahead and start out with the top five best and worst maps inside of Roblox's Tower Heroes number five worst timeless tower timeless tower is just one of those maps that when it first came out i really liked the design and i still kind of do but it just doesn't entirely make sense i don't know just something about there being a giant circle as kind of the entire map just it doesn't really click for me and there's also not very many spaces to put your heroes at. I struggle a lot of times even just being here playing by myself, let alone having other people here trying to put all of your heroes down. There's just a black void that we're standing on or hovering above, I guess we could say, and there's cogs and gears everywhere kind of making it hard to see. However, one thing that it does have going forward is that there are a lot of separate little spaces along the wall to be able to put lemonade cats on so it's completely out of the way over here, which you need because there's not much space to be able to put your heroes anyway. Timeless Tower is definitely not a bad map, it's just not one of my favorites. Number 5 Best Maps, Canyon Calamity. Canyon Calamity is an amazing map. It has, I think, probably the longest trail or the longest path to be able to get from the starting point to the very end point for enemies, which makes it amazing. I've come to discover the longer the path, usually the better the case for you, because if you have fast enemies like this spider, right here you have time to be able to place more heroes down before it can get to the very end of the map i really like that about this map plus the way that it's themed they did absolutely phenomenal on all of the mine carts around the area the old abandoned town look over here and especially the little town over here like they did not just slap everything together like there's some good paid attention to detail over here i know that you could probably have some people say that this map is just kind of basic but to me it just fits the theme super well they did amazing with it and there's also a little secret down here in this little cave look at all of this stuff there's like a little bingo board right here there's some pictures right here anyway candy calamity is just a super duper map i always enjoy playing it i have an amazing time whenever i'm on here and definitely think it deserves to go in the top five maps number four worst maps desolate desert uh, where do I start? There's not much to talk about. Well, they really did pull off the whole desert vibe. There's some sand, there's some rocks, there's a pyramid, and there's just not really much going on with this map. While it does have a crazy long path that's almost, it almost appears to be about the same one as Canyon Calamity and Link, I just feel like every time I play this map, I get bored because there's just not much going on. If you look over into the horizon, it's just tan, 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 sand. However, I do like the period and the themed enemies for this map are certainly not half bad. It's just not that fun to play, but it does kind of fit with the Tower Heroes vibe, I guess. Goes well with the brand, just doesn't really fit, or, and it's not one of my favorites in my opinion. Number four best maps, Alien Attack. Welcome to outer space where we are here and the aliens are attacking as well as the slimes. Who'd have thought? Is it just me or does alien attack almost have one of those nostalgia vibes whenever you go to play it? I love the whole split path idea here and I love the fact that one of them is a lot longer than the other. And right here is the area where you have most of your towers being placed, whether it's up here on the rocks or not. I just feel like there's a lot of different strategies that you can use on this map and it's super fun to play. I don't know if it's because of the aliens or just because like they're kind of random health gaps that they have. It feels like some of them are like super like not powerful at all and then you have others that just jump up all of a sudden from like 47 health to 
8,000. It's definitely a unique map to play. In fact, here comes a baby alien right now. And I'm not even that big of a, like a spacer alien fan, but I just, I really like this map. Alien Attack is just a super fun map to be able to play. And look at that. I didn't even notice that. There's a rocket ship over there that's just crashed and just rusty. That's the first time I've noticed that. And we don't have this on every single map inside of the game, but there are very few, and this is one of them, that the actual uh, location where the enemies spawn actually becomes a boss. So like when we get to the very end of this wave, we're going to have a boss that spawns out of this UFO right here. Super, super cool. Just a lot of unique elements that make this map what it is, and I just find it super cool and fun to be able to play. Hey, my friend, if nobody has told you yet today, you are seen, you are known, and you are loved by both God and by me. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to give it a like and even consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos on Tower Heroes. We're posting them all the time. And if you'd like to, you can go ahead and join our Roblox fan group. The link is down in the description below. We post information about the channel and videos coming there. We also have merch that you can check out for only seven Robux in our group shop. You can go ahead and check that out as well. But for now, let's continue ranking these maps for the five worst and the five best inside of Roblox's Tower Heroes. Number three, worst maps, Volcano Valley. Well, they did not lie to us. There is a volcano inside of a valley. Bruh. But that's about it. There are also some just random enemies that I guess live here inside of a dark black tunnel. And there is somehow some way in a way to escape this valley, I guess, through this light over here. I don't really have an issue with this map because, like I said with some of the other ones, it does have quite a long path to it, which I do enjoy, and it does make it easy. But easy isn't always what gives you the best map, in my opinion. Ever since I started this game, I've always thought of this map as just kind of lame and doesn't really have much involved with it but i did just hear news yesterday there is going to be a revamp of this map and it's going to look a lot better in my opinion or maybe i should say maybe not better but more detailed at least because my honest first thought is that it looks like bowser's kingdom from super mario brothers wii which is kind of a win-win because we're also not going to get a complete revamp for this map but i'm also a big mario fan so yippee that was my mario impression so that's just to say that right now maybe i should say the old version of volcano valley is on the worst list because when it gets to its other it might become one of the better looking ones number three Three best maps, Cloudy Catastrophe. Cloudy Catastrophe is just one of those maps that works for Tower Heroes, like the Tower Heroes branding. I see a lot of people playing it a lot of times, and I just don't see how it just ever loses its fun. When you're playing this game, there are like five central stations that you can kind of put your towers in, and it's just kind of fun to move them around from time to time. And number one is right here near the air balloon or the airship. Number two is right here when you're exiting it. Number three is this island over here with the windmill. Uh, number four is this one right over here with the picnic table. And number five is over here near the exit. It's kind of unique because you're always having to move your towers around. You don't ever keep them in the same spot for long usually. Especially when the tiny crew themselves come. Which by the way, if I haven't mentioned the tiny crew yet, they're a big part of the tower heroes. Uh, like, I don't know, not fan base, but they're a big part of tower heroes, I guess. And I guess it's because the fact that they, like this is, their map and they're also like all over the place they kind of have made themselves a part of tower heroes i'm not sure if it's because of that maybe that i'd like this map so much but maybe it is i don't know anyway cloudy catastrophe is just one of those fan favorite maps i think and it certainly goes on my list for favorites as well number two worst maps facility raid okay we're moving on to the raid maps now even though this map does give you 400 health to work with instead of the regular 100 have you seen the amount of doors on this map not only that how small it is for the amount of doors that you have and not only that you have to build fences along the way to hopefully try and survive there are too many things i dislike about this map the enemies are always hard on this one as well and not that its theme doesn't go very well or that it doesn't fit with the tower heroes kind of brand because it, i kind of think it does i mean there is facility frenzy and i do kind of like playing that one because well it's it's much easier for one but i've just 
never enjoy this map for this reason right here. So for that reason, it's definitely number two on my list for the worst regular maps in this game. Number two, best maps, Honeycomb Heist. As much as I understand how hard this map is to beat, and I literally just got Beatrice within the past month, and this map has been out for years now, I don't think anybody can deny the fact how great this map looks and how well it was designed. I've literally talked to my brother about this before whenever we're playing this map. It's just untouched in its design. Everything is themed and laid out so perfectly. There are little Easter eggs all along the way. There's is this a throne? I think this is supposed to be a throne right here. I've literally never noticed this before, but look at that. I'm finding things out that are brand new about these maps. In fact, here's Beatrice Bow over here, if you've never noticed that. The map is just practically made up out of honeycombs, and the enemies are made of bees or related to things that are like bees or like honey. We have these super cute honey slimes right here, and of course, honey bees as well. How cute is that? And do not back away from mentioning this music either for this map. Both this both the regular round music and also the boss music is insane it's definitely on a level of its own super super fun it's make it makes memories whether for the good or for the bad this map definitely makes memories and it makes a good job doing it and in my opinion i think it makes good memories unless you're trying to get beat number one worst maps abandoned alleyway ever since this map was released probably a year or two ago i have not been able to figure out why it's in the game in my opinion it doesn't match really the theme that tower heroes is this doesn't really feel like it belongs in a tower defense game not tower heroes at least it either feels a little too detailed or it's just like the layout and the design is just not where it's supposed to be oh and let's not forget it's also a raid map if it's a raid map it makes things worse just period um but it i i've just never enjoyed this map i've never enjoyed playing it i've never enjoyed the rewards that you get from it i'm i'm not even that big of a soda pop or quinn person which that's when those both came out i believe was this update so abandoned alleyway and i have never been the best of friends i've not really enjoyed it i still don't enjoy it every time i play it in fact every time i go to play this map i always end up thinking why does it exist in tower heroes and not that it's not greatly designed because in all honesty it's designed a little too well in my opinion they nailed the design that they were going for and they really did make it feel like an abandoned alleyway but just i don't expect this to see this inside of tower heroes this belongs like almost as a game all to itself i feel like so in all honesty the reason why this is at the bottom of the list is because it could be a whole game in itself i'm not kidding number one best maps castle town it is the one it is the only og best map in my opinion inside of all of tower heroes well excluding christmas maps of course I just don't know how it can get much better than Castletown because this just perfectly portrays what Tower Heroes is. Every time I think of Tower Heroes, Castletown is what I think of. Whenever I play Castletown, I think of Tower Heroes. Unlike some previous maps we discussed like Desolate Desert and Abandoned Alleyway, this is like the exact opposite of those because I just feel like it belongs inside of this game and it just makes this game. It's the first map we ever play. We're introduced to all of the common enemies and stuff right here. Not to mention it's decently long and always easy, but I don't know. I just feel like every time I play it, I'm just introduced to something new about the map. I don't know how to explain it really. I always just have the best time whenever I'm playing this map. It takes me back to when I first started playing. It's just, it's where memories were made and it's an amazing map. So now you know my opinion on what I think are the best and the worst maps inside of Roblox's Tower Heroes. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Did I get this right? Did I get it wrong? What would you change? I want to hear it all below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.